Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeve, and welcome back to Amnesia. Today, uh, today we're stuck in a cell, which is the second time this has happened to us in recent... Uh, in the recent past, in a game we've been playing. Although, in this case, it is not because the person loves us and is just insecure. No, this person is very much intending us to die. Now, how do we... Aha! Uh -huh. Well... This hammer and chipper sure has come in handy. Oh, now it's gone. Oh well, I will remember you. Alright, that's one way to get out. Come on. This has not significantly helped our situation. <laughs> or maybe it has. Alright. Guess they didn't bother to lock all of them. Alright. Uh. The fuck just happened there? Oh, the memory. Alright, well. We've got a bucket. We're fucking unstoppable. It's time to kick Alexander's fucking ass. Ooh. Last prisoner note. Or second to last prisoner note. Oh no, oh you mean the last note of a prisoner. I oh, they meant the, the note of the last prisoner. Anyways, there is little left to say. I write solely to prevent myself from revisiting the memories of these last few days. If I am fortunate, I will fall asleep and time will pass without effort. I have begun to wean myself of my prison. When I first arrived, I felt like I was being buried inside a tomb, but now I feel the close walls comforting me. As long as I am in here, there is no pain. The walls protect me from the outside. I even laughed earlier as one of my wardens dropped a key down the pipes. It gave me hope for a second, thinking I could escape if only I could somehow reach it from, from here. In my dreams, Alexander, I am king. In my dreams, I best you and escape your clutches, and return with all the knights of the realm carrying pistols and sabers. In my dreams. Huh. Poor bastard. But the key, you say? Well then. Yeah. I think we're probably on a time crunch. Come on. Doesn't say the shadow gonna be killing us. Uh, I must have been doing it the wrong way. Ah, crap. All right. Good thing we got this bucket. Like I said, with this bucket, we are fucking unstoppable. Unstoppable, just like a person who's just taken several gallons of Viagra. Bucket of water. Does that help? Didn't he say there was a. Don't be keyed on the pipes. Oh, the pipes, not the well. What was I thinking? Key, 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 key. Ah! What's this? Can't be reached. What do you mean it can't be reached? Just stick your goddamn head! Okay, fine. I guess I... You idiot. Alright, we've got the key. Got a way out of this living hell. Alright. It's time to kick Alexander's ass. La 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 la. See ya. Oh no. Not the physics engine. Not the physics engine. Neener, neener, neener. Wow, you're slow. Of course. God, that's loud. Barely hear myself think. Neener, 
no, 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 no. Man, you're miles away. <laughs> uh, not the most intense of sequences, I suppose. More of a victory lap, really. Sucker! You're not even there! Oh, there you are, finally. When Hazel turned 15, she had lived three years longer than Dr. Tate had foreseen. Her parents had given up from exhaustion and decided to have her committed for permanent treatment at Canterbury Hospice. But she was still alive. She had embraced him and wished him a grand adventure in Algeria. Okay, who the fuck is Hazel? Alright, now, lock the door, just be safe. Not that it'll probably help. Like headache. Oh. Um, pardon? Pardon? You okay there, Daniel? Alexander became silent. He didn't know what to say. He could no longer recognize his friend sitting across the carriage. 18th of August, 1839. <laughs> 39. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. The coach went there. Our visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the others. Good times. He went to take care of the farmhands. I began to look for the children. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. So, no more pretenses, eh? The crying had stopped and he could hear a whisper coming from the cell. They were up to something and he would have to punish them. Try to do this again. Again. Hang on. Now, I don't. Where am I? To the name. I don't recognize this part of the nave. Is this? And I don't know what the what the well's for. Maybe I need more. Maybe I need to get another thing of meat. Oh, wait a minute, I do recognize this part of the name. I see. It was that door that was locked off. Ow, fuck. I thought I was far enough away. Ow, fuck. Ah, crap. Good thing I've got all of this laudanum. Jesus Christ, I've got... so much darker now, isn't it? It's like the very... Like the darkness itself is... Not alive. Empty, even. As if it's been... As if the darkness itself has been... Has had something of it devoured by something else. What's this? Heat is steaming out of the... Oh! Look, is this... 
the laboratory equipment. Maybe I need. Maybe that's what I need to put this in. Or not. Uh. No. There we go. Until a container is properly placed below. Shit, I don't have a. Well, I do have a container, but. Yeah, here we go. Just need to heat this up, I guess. There's a passage for purification around here. Then. Put this here. Turn. Getting quite good at this. Maybe I shouldn't stand too close to it, but. Alright. Oh, that works too. And there. And here we go. Weir's tonic. I better not be making a mistake here. Well, one way to find out. Uh, just turn this off. There. I mean, there's already plenty of open flames. You know, fun fact, uh, there's a sort of common stereotype of, like, you know, medieval stuff having, like, torches everywhere and such, but candles were actually the most common light source at the time. For various reasons. I thought I lost you. <laughs> you won't be rid of me yet. I could hear the chance of collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Well, something else is accessible too. God, look at all this. All these fleshy growths all Thank over goodness. the walls. Now, pay attention. First, feed me the tonic, and then use the saw to remove my head. Uh, As the tonic begins to work, pardon me? You'll be able to cut off my head. Without taking my life. Oh, that's what Seth, it does. Take my head and bring it with you. As you enter the gate, Alexander is open in the inner sanctum. Remind me of Slay the Princess. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you enter the gate? We can't argue now. You need to act. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I'm not certain I should... Okay. Here we go. There. Quickly, off with the head. Uh, with... What? And then, whatever happens, get me through that gate. I don't have a saw. Where's the saw? Uh. Oh, maybe this way. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Uh, saw, saw, saw. Here we go. Bone saw. It's ready. You're a good boy, Daniel. And I appreciate Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should you come? Ow. Don't time for hesitation. And here we go. The severed head of Agrippa. I guess he can't talk anymore because he no longer, have uh, no longer has lungs. I sure hope I didn't accidentally kill him. Mm. A shame to leave behind such a... It's the rest of his body, but there's not much meat on him. There's a lot, uh, although there's quite a lot of around him. Shame I can't stick around. Ah, hmm. eh, well, there's not any good cooking equipment around here anyways. I'd have to make do with laboratory equipment, and that isn't great. Ooh, more of these. I love the way they just fucking disintegrate. Shit. <laughs> Alrighty then. Unless... Probably won't work. No. Alright. Time to go. It's time to kick Alexander's ass. La 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 la. Is 
this place blocked off too? The other one was. Yep. Crush his skull. He deserves it. Okay. What an odd thing to say at that moment. Is that you, weird red light? Well, certainly left you in my dust. Try and catch up. All his life, he thought he, that he was a good man. Terrible deeds were only committed by terrible people, like Henry Bedlow, the bully in school. But now he had seen what he himself could do. <laughs> uh, terrible men are not the most common perpetrators of terrible acts. That would be terror terrified men. Alright. Let's go. Nothing else for it. I don't think so. We've gotten ahead. We've pondered our orb. There we have it. Other than all the colors, the pieces were different colors, and yet the final thing is not. All right, the orb by itself, not by itself, remove the barrier. Something must be done with the machinery. Shit. All right, I think I know what to do. Maybe. There was a monster over there last I saw, but never stopped me before. That stuff doesn't even look like flesh in this light. It almost blends in with the floor. There's a metaphor there somewhere, I think. Jesus, I've got 56 tinderboxes left. Unless I need to use a bunch of these in the finale. 10th of August, 1839. Oh. I cannot believe what I have become. I can. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? All of them. Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent? To save myself? Well, that's just self- A cold-blooded murderer. Well, that's just self-preservation. It's... Society would tell you that that's a... Evil in itself, but... Well... Society would gladly have you forsake everything you are, just to make the line go up. Yeah, what do I do? Ow! Not that. Frank, is it finally it's time to shine? But where? Large enough. Okay, then I need something larger. Uh, maybe this? I don't know if it's the right shape to actually wedge into it. Not strong enough. Rock! Here we go. I swear... Maybe? Yes! Now we run! And now we run the other way.
Oh, I was expecting this whole place to like fall apart around me, but no. This is not the best hiding space. Is it even coming? I don't think it's coming. Okay. It ain't coming. It came, it didn't see, so it didn't conquer. Ooh, if I'm far enough away, I don't get the sanity reduction. Where'd it go? Ah, that away. Okay, I think I know, know what I need to do. Maybe. I go this way. And wait for it to come back. And then go that way, I can shoot past it. Maybe. Assuming it comes back. I'm gonna check to make sure that it's vanished. Okay then. Yo, what happened to the orb? Guess I must have busted it. Good. Fuck the orb. I'm not even gonna look behind me. Not worth it. The sight of her lifeless body crippled his psyche. He tried to remove himself from the scene, but he could not. Instead, he fell to his knees and begged her for forgiveness. This is why you drank the potion. Not for any good reasons, but just because you didn't want to acknowledge the wrong that you've committed. How cowardly. 20th of August, 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. <laughs> Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them. <laughs> oh, so that's why you did it. Well, it's hard to argue with your assessment of the situation. He did manipulate you after all. He played on your fear. Then himself as, as your only option. Play, uh, dressed it up with, uh, with silly uh, with ideas of justice and such. That the men claim that they were vile men. Brought you along by inches, as it always is. Ow. Okay.
Don't be too hard on yourself, Daniel. After all... After all this, you still get to go home. Lucky you. Let's see if we can figure out how to open this. certain what I'm doing here aside from injuring myself mentally and physically. the way. Hmm. This flesh, it sure does enjoy taking its pound of flesh, so to speak, from me. And yet, oddly, it's been a lot more... It's, it's been as helpful as, as it's been hurtful. Maybe more. Hmm. Perhaps I'm Here we go! Time to ponder the orb. If it wasn't for Alexander, he would still be innocent and be able to die so. Quite so. If it weren't for that shadow, though, he wouldn't need to die at all. Is that what he looks like? If you were going to show up. What a mook! I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? More or less. Am I the villain? Good yes. And evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Oh, don't give me that ball. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in a gripper? I don't give a shit. I just want you both to. I just want you to eat shit. Listen. What do I do here then? Do I... The little one's not open yet. Hmm. I see. Pylon is unstable on the verge of falling over. Okay, I see what the choice here is. We either destroy the ritual or hijack it for ourselves. Yeah, sure, Alexander. Go right ahead. Do all the bullshit that you're planning on doing. Don't mind me sitting here waiting to take it from you. After all, good and evil may not be applicable, but being a dick, oh, that certainly is. How long is this gonna take, man? Gonna move on. Do you okay, see it? A whole other world. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it sure is. I can finally return home. Yeah. Yes, you shall but you not. Ha! You have ruined us. 
No, I've just ruined you. Eat shit! Eat shit! I have had enough of you! Ow. Ha! <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm move. I'm still playing. Oh, what's this? There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please help him. I know you can. I sure hope you're talking about me, not Alexander. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, Daniel. It will be all right. All I asked for. And that's the end. We've, uh... I guess we went- I guess we went through to the other side of the portal to the realm of whatever. Sure, why not? Uh... So, that was Amnesia. A, a, a story about archaeology leading to horrible curses, leading to a terror that gripped me, and a man who was all too eager to, uh, to seize upon that terror, use it to manipulate me, use it to get me to do horrible, horrendous deeds, all for the sake of returning home. And in the end, I, uh, even though it cost me greatly, even though it, it cost me so much of my mind that I might never get back, I had my revenge. I toppled his schemes. I I saved Ag Agrippa too. A man who I don't know, I don't really know his character very well, but he at uh, the very least he trained a pretty cool guy. So, <laughs> and then we went across into realms unknown. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good ending. I it, it was kind of. It kind of, I'm still not entirely sure what happened half the time throughout that game. There's a lot of ambiguity, but yeah, all in all, pretty fun game. It wasn't particularly scary, but I don't really find most. I rarely find horror games scary, so yeah. Also, I, they gave me a ridiculous number of those, uh, uh, whatever they're called. Flint and Tinder? The Tinder box, that's what it was. Uh, they gave me a ridiculous number of those. I had like, a, I had like 50 of them by the end. <laughs> and I just never knew when to use them. Oh well. What does ODN314 mean? What? Okay. So, as I said, that was Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Pretty fun game. Had some pretty neat mechanics that went a bit underutilized. And, yeah, kind of janky, kind of weird. It was pretty good. Kind of like Darkwood, you know, it was, it was a pretty interesting game with a lot of weird mechanics that didn't always work very well. What's this? Oh! 
Oh wow! It's actually got a whole fucking... I thought it was one of those annoying games where they only give you one save that updates for the link, but I could actually go back to... No, not the entire game. It seems like they heard some after, uh, before, uh, after a certain point, but still. And apparently it's got a whole bunch of custom stories that I could potentially play in the future. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll play the later Amnesia games. Like there was a recent one, Bunker, which was part of the impetus behind me playing this. Not because of anything specific, just because I was reminded of this game existing. <laughs> uh, who knows? But for now, our journey with Amnesia and with Daniel is over. He shall go on to explore the other realm, and I shall go on to other things. But, but without any further ado whatsoever, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, Unsubscribe if you are for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and sayonara, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.